Hello everyone, Mr. Merkid here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create the highly requested call spammer. I see it in the comments a lot, I also get asked a lot via Skype. So I thought why not just show it, because I was not going to, but it turns out if a lot of people want to see it then I'm going to show it. Uh, so basically what we need is a text box for the username, a button to start and a button to stop. Uh, so let me just rename these two real quick, start and stop. And we're also going to need a timer, obviously, because we want to do something multiple times uh, pretty quickly. So this is just going to start timer 7, timer7.start, and the other one is going to stop it. And now we want to just work in the timer, because this is where the main core of everything is going to go. Um, so first of all we need to start the call so we can do skype dot place call and we want to get the username from the text box which is number 36 so the username is going to be text box 36 dot text like, like that and the way this is going to work is basically we're going to call them and then we're going to hang up and then it's pretty much going to repeat that process until you stop. Uh, so we need to set the interval for the timer. Um, so the timer seven dot interval. Now you could have a text box where you pick sort of the interval of this thing, so how quickly it's going to spam them. Or you could have like a track bar or something like that. But for the purpose of this, I'm manually going to set it to zero point one. I found that 0 0.1 is kind of a good sort of time for this. Uh, it sort of calls, hang. It's it's kind of an annoying time if you understand what I mean. Uh, so, but you could go for higher or lower to make it even more annoying. But that time sort of is the the perfect time. Um, and then obviously you want to hang up, so we do Skype. Dot active calls, and then. We need to actually get the call because we're only going to be in one call, which is the one that's active. It's number one, so it's call one, and we can say dot finish. Um, instead of finish, there's a lot we can f uh, answer it. We can do a lot of things, but we're just going to want to do finish, and then that's pretty much it. But because sometimes you get errors and something like that, we just want to say on error, on error, resume next. So if it gets an error, it's just going to keep doing it anyway. Um, so pretty much it's going to call them, it's going to wait, hang up, and it's just going to do it over and over again. Um, depending on the interval you pick, it's going to be faster or slower. So bear in mind that you can change that as well to whatever you like. Um, so that's pretty much that. We can start this up, and I'll give you an example of how this thing works. Let me head over to Skype and I'll just spam my spare account choosing Skype bot and we'll press start and you'll see in a second it's calling it and if I actually click on it you'll see what it's doing if you look in the chat here you'll see it's calling hanging up and things like that so it, that's kind of how that thing works and I'm just gonna stop that now because it gets kind of annoying and laggy um, so that's that stopped. We can close that. You can see that was about 10 second period and it's called him like 15 times or something. So that's really it for the video. It's fairly simple. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, leave, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.